Senator Tim Kaine is in Hampton Roads this afternoon. He's meeting with the Australian ambassador and the Navy undersecretary as we speak. Ten on your sides, Chris Horn tells us what is expected to come from this meeting. This announcement is part of an overall agreement known as AUKUS, A-U-K-U-S. It stands for Australia, the U.K., and the U.S. And the impact today for Hampton Roads is the building of nuclear submarines for the Australian Navy. Australia will purchase at least three and as many as five Virginia-class nuclear subs. The estimated price of each is about three and a half billion dollars. Earlier this year, Australia announced it wants to replace its conventionally powered submarines. Huntington Ingalls Industries in Newport News is one of just two shipyards that combine efforts to make the Virginia-class sub, along with General Dynamics Electric Boat that's in Connecticut. Senator Kane is leading legislation to formally implement the AUKUS agreement and ensure that it creates jobs, spurs economic growth, and benefits the defense community in Virginia and here in Hampton Roads. I'm attending the press conference at this hour, and I'll have a full report on Wavy News 10 this afternoon, beginning at 4. In Newport News, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.